Okay, it's March 17th, 2022. What I film with now is my 1080p little Canon Digital Elf photograph camera. I don't have software in my computer to do editing or anything like this. So that's why all my videos have been short and unedited. Here we are looking at the pond. It's still froze, of course. And a vehicle you guys haven't seen before. Uh, 2000. 10, I think Nissan Versa, a motorhome that I got for free, 30 footer, 454 Chevy, big block V8, actually has only 58,000 kilometers and works perfectly and it's in nice shape and it's got a nice generator with it too. Tanker is still working good but I haven't used it yet this year. Today is the warmest day of the year. Spy planes are still on me. Oh. And it's uh, going to get to 18 degrees Celsius. There's my 5-speed 318 high output Dodge race truck. Still working good. There's the DPP. As far as I know, it's still working good. It might have a fuel pump problem. And now I have a real police siren in it. The Chevy Ack lies over the ridge. So does that gay piece of shit Mitsubishi Talon, or Eagle Talon, the blue and yellow seats or whatever they are. Wow, look at that patina. Awesome. This is due for a five-year cold start, old start, that's for sure. Oh, let's see this piece of shit. Well, I got this running perfectly two years ago. Unfortunately, it suddenly blew its timing belt. Wow, that was fur on your ass if you ever sat there. Yep, blew its timing belt. It's so gay. Never did finish this thing. This is not my Ford Stepside truck. It only has half a motor. I hear they're gonna, the owner is gonna take the motor out of that motor home which is a Ford motor and put it in there it used to be Jay's Subaru it's mine now it's working great as you know another one of the world's most fuel efficient vans another just go get her around the farm oh, the fucking groundhogs chewed the uh, what do you call it crank sensor wires off this thing so it's not running but it was running perfect the Nissan truck it's working, but the frame's ready to break in half. Or my Ford Dodge. It was working until I tickled it on the other side with my dozer. I made a funny video, but unfortunately I wasn't the one that filmed it. Because the guy was driving in it when I attacked him. Now it broke the camshaft a little bit. I'll scrap it. The redneck, <laughs> high redneck roller coaster. That's due for a long old start. Dodge is still working good. Use it regularly. That was Bloke's Pontiac. Drove it last year. It's fine. This one's got a few electrical problems. It's the high output V6. I think it's got 265 horsepower and a 5 speed. Fastest car we've ever had on the farm, I guess, other than that Dodge truck. This venerable diesel Ford. Still working fine. She's seen better days, but I, this is, truck's been on the farm now for almost 22, 23 years. Longest vehicle we ever had, and it still goes tough. This is a, another one of my friend's cars who comes and visits. Tim from Windsor, Drywall Pro, or whatever he calls himself. My mom's old Buick, working. This thing doesn't work anymore. This one works fine. This one has a problem with a wire on the starter motor. The Honda works. These two cars are working. So there's an overshot. Pretty much mostly the same. Oh yeah, I've got a bus. The bus is working great. Last year I put some new brake calipers on it and bought a brand new bus battery for it. 
but this year I think I'll try to sell it. I want to get around 3200 for it. It actually is running perfect. Oh, the venerable Cressida. That's working good too, but scared to drive it because it's got this yellow mold in it. Uh, that's the problem. It was parked in the shade. It got all moldy inside. This thing's got a 5-speed transmission also. Yeah, the guy who gave me this car couldn't get the door off one day and he was drunk and tied to his truck and almost ripped it off. It's a bit breezy, so unfortunately, just fuck up the sound. And of course, there's my building way down there and I've got 